All right, now we're going to talk about the quarterback. If there is no blitz, if there is no hot built in, then his progression is very simple. Shallow cross, choice, flat. One, two, three. That's it. Down after down after down after down after down after down. That's the, that's the read. One Y, one Z, one F, one X, it doesn't matter. It's the same progression. If there's not some kind of hot principle involved, shallow cross, choice, back. And that, that is really, you know, as you teach the kid, and here's how the footwork goes, again, if you're not hot. All right, and I'm really gimpy with this hip, okay? I got it replaced uh, four weeks ago today. All right? So he's going to catch the ball, and it's a three-step drop. All right, as he's, and it's a good, we call it a gun three, but it's not a fast rhythm thing. It's kind of relaxed, three-step drop. He's going to go one, he's crossing over two, and when he hits three, he's got to make a decision if he's going to take the crosser or not. Because if he hits the crosser, the goal is that once you hit three, you're going right to the crossing route without any kind of a hitch step. Okay, if you're timing it right and your receivers are flying and doing what they're supposed to be doing, that's how it's going to go. All right, if you hit that third step and you see the mics jumping to the shallow, okay, now you're going to hitch to who? The choice, right? And if he's not there, bam, the ball's out. If he holds the ball any longer than that, he's wrong. You can't let him hold it, hold it, hold it. And, 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 no. You hit third step, and if the shallow's there, you're going to hit the shallow. If not, you hitch. And you go to him, and if not, you're hit, and bang, you're going right out to the flare. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Shallow cross choice scat. Shallow cross choice scat. Over and over and over, okay? So they get used to that. Now, if there's some kind of hot principle weak, they got more than you can block weak, he'll, he'll go what we call a hot three, and then the hot three, he's looking to throw the slant, which we can throw, or he's looking to throw to the arrow, depending on what happens. If there's no one in the window, and here's how I teach all that stuff. I don't, I don't, I don't tell our guys to look at a defender. If, I, if our quarterback's looking at a defender, I think his vision is too tight. I think he's looking at a, a, a guy. Let's, let's say he looks at the will linebacker, and the will linebacker flies out in the flat. Well, if he flies out in the flat, I better hit the slant, right? Well, what, what, if, the, what if the mic buzzes that way and runs underneath it and picks your, picks your slant? It's because you told him to look at the wheel. And the wheel ran in the flat, so he watched him, he threw the slant, but then the mic, you know, I tell him to look at the area. You look to the slant area. You look to the curl area, whatever it is. And if there's nothing between you and him, then, then throw it in there. Because here he comes, okay? If something's in the throw lane, bang. If somebody's out there, launch it over his head, or if you're Charlie Ward, take off running, you know? It's bang, 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 and either throw it away or if you're an athlete, you, you go. Okay, that's it. You don't hold the ball. You don't get a sack. You don't throw a pick because you held the ball too long and you got hit when you're throwing it. And the line coach is going crazy. I told you not to do that five out stuff, you know? But, once you, but if you teach that guy to get the ball out, I don't care if it's Chris Winky who is like a tree. I'll tell you right now, if Winky was standing right here, he's like a big tree, he's like a big oak tree in there, okay? He wasn't going anywhere. But he, he hit about 70% of them bad boys, and Charlie Ward hit about 75% of them bad boys, okay? When Charlie, when it won there, Charlie would go do his thing. When Winky, when it won there, he'd, he'd launch it in the stands. Go, go live to play another down. Complete two out of three, move the chains. Everybody gets exhausted, and before you know it, you're, you're marching yourself down the field on this play. Okay, so QB, we said what his deal was. Shell across, choice, arrow. Any kind of hot, you're, you're, you're throwing slant. Now, you might have, we, we had a rule where if we had a middle, even though we had the mic picked up at times, men, or like let's say you got a two back, two backer look in the box, a four four kind of look. If we got middle pressure, we'd say middle hot. Middle pressure, middle hot. Outside pressure, outside hot over there. Outside pressure this way, Outside hot that way. That's another way that you're teaching your quarterback. Hey, you got a blitz from here, throw it out in the flat to the side of the blitz. You got a blitz in the middle, throw the hot to the middle. You got a blitz on this side, throw the hot to that side. 
So it was just, it was really relatively simple for the kid. Now, how can I see everybody at the same time? Well, you got to have a little idea about safeties. I mean, if you get people spinning one way, the blitz is probably coming that way. You got to spin in that way, it's probably coming that way. Okay? And I could, I, we, it's more detailed than that, really, as far as exactly what I tell them, but we don't have time to cover all these protections and looks and, and all that kind of deal. But it, relatively simply speaking, middle blitz, middle hot. Outside blitz, outside hot. Outside blitz, outside hot week. Okay? And I'll say one more thing. If you had blitz come from both sides, we always went to the hot away from the shallow. Because, and this isn't the best picture, but a minute ago when we, when we had that back on the wide flare, and I had that Sam linebacker coming inside the defensive end, and the tackle was setting the end, and the Sam came, and he took him and turned the wide man free. A lot of times when people bring that blitz, what do they do with that end? They'll, they'll peel on the back, right? So your quarterback's thinking he's hot over here, and then the back peels. The Sam came, so he's thinking I'm hot. Tackle picks him up. We turn the wide man free, but the wide man peels on your back. If you get ready to throw it to the back and he gets covered, then you go get him in the back of the head. Okay? So anytime we felt like there was pressure coming both ways, we always threw the hot to the weak side, not to the side of the, of the back on the flare.